Hello everybody. First of all, let me just say that I just spent the past 15 minutes trying to find this camera until I finally found where I put it. But that's not the point. I'd like to welcome you all to my very first secret TBR vlog. I have been planning this for like kind of like the past like two months. I've been wanting to do it but I put it off because of my move but now that I am in my home and pretty much settled I wanted to go ahead and start this vlog. So my secret TBR is going to be all about reading fantasy books specifically high fantasy books um, because this is not something that I read often. There's one book that Desiree and Kat really really like that they think I would never read. So I definitely want to prove them wrong and they don't know about this video. Normally I give them all the ins and outs of fun videos that I'm doing but they don't know about this one. They know it's a secret TBR. They don't know what so I thought I would do that. So this vlog is going to consist of me reading three books. I'm not going to tell you guys what the books are. I'm going to tell you guys as I start them and I really want to read the first one that Desiree and Kat love first because I do have one because I have audio for it but I'm also really really curious so I think I'm going to be doing that. So all of these books are high fantasy. Another hint that I'm going to give you guys is all of these are the first books in series. So I think we have a trilogy, a duology, and then an unknown uh, amount of books series. And also one of them I didn't even realize is 799 pages. Why am I doing this to myself? So I want to go ahead and share with you guys the one that I'm going to be starting now while I'm working on dinner. And this is the one that I know Desiree and Kat are going to be, I don't know if they're going to be surprised or something. I don't know. But we are going to be starting the audiobook for Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I have read Illuminae, um, which is probably completely different from what I'm about to dive into. Fun fact, I picked this up from the library because I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. And this is a signed first edition. I was very surprised to open up my book and see J. Kristoff's signature right there. But there it is. <laughs> and I did tell Desiree and Kat when I got this book like weeks ago that I picked up a signed copy from a library. Like the library book is signed, but I didn't tell them what it was. So, all right, I'm going to go start cooking dinner and listening to Nevernight by J. Kristoff. So it's been two days since I started Nevernight. Um, I started on Friday, it's now Sunday. And all things considered, I feel like I'm going quicker through this book than I anticipated. I am on page, I'm on page 60, which is the start of chapter six. And you know, it's not bad. Like I haven't used the audiobook so much. I've been, I've been picking it up and reading it myself, which is great. This book just feels so daunting because it's almost 450 pages and there's just so much information. So I didn't notice in um, the audiobook, but there's these like cliff notes in the book. And this happens to be a short one, but there's also like really long ones like this. And I didn't notice it because the audiobook, I guess, seam seamlessly adds it in to the narrative, which kind of threw me off when I was physically reading it. I haven't been like as focused on the cliff notes. Maybe I should be. I don't know if that's taking something away from my reading experience. But it's nice that the audiobook weaves it into the story. So that's kind of what's happening here. I'm procrastinating a little bit. I have been trying to watch down my watch later list. And then I have to start editing a video. So we'll see what kind of progress I make in Nevernight today. It is only 12.08, so we still have a long day ahead of us. So it's been about two days since I last updated you all. And on, on Sunday, I listened to 10% of the book, which I thought was great. I was like, Let, the next day, let's listen to 20. But I realized that that was unrealistic because Sunday I don't spend all day working whereas yesterday I spend most of my day working and then coming home and doing dinner and stuff like that. I even took a nap yesterday and it was really weird but 
all that being said, I still got to 35% in this book. So what I'm going to try and do today is get to 50%. So that's a 15% listening today, which I totally think is possible. I'm right at the beginning of chapter 13. And I'm just, I'm like, let's go. Let's get to halfway through this book. Because this book is really fucking long. Also, it turns out I wasn't listening at 1.25 speed. I thought I was. I was only listening at normal speed. No, that's unacceptable. 1.25 is where I listen at. So it's been a few days since I updated you all. It's now Thursday the 6th, and check this out. We made it over 50% of the way through, and we finally have less than 10 hours left in this audiobook. Let's get it done. Maybe by the end of the week. Maybe by Sunday. We'll see. Alright, it's Sunday. Will just left for work, which means we're going to get a lot of stuff done around the house, and we're also going to finish Nevernight today. We're going to try and finish Nevernight today, because I didn't listen to it at all yesterday. So we're going to listen to it while we do other things, and we have 8 hours and 21 minutes left in it at 1.25 speed. 59% of the way in, we are fucking finishing it today. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Whenever he wakes up to go to work, I'm just up and then the day just feels like it goes on forever. So step one, start the laundry. We're working on that. We gotta take out the garbage in a second. I gotta get all these things to my room. I have to organize my half of the closet because I have a lot more clothes for work now, so we need to take care of this. And we're going to do it all while listening to Nevernight. So I'm going to go find the Bluetooth speaker, which he probably has somewhere on his side of the room, and we're just going to go. We're going to fucking go. So let's do this thing. Update. It's been a little bit. It's almost 11 o'clock. The closet is kind of fixed, and I am on chapter 25, 67%. We have six hours and 40 minutes left in this book. It's 10.40, we have to see how much we can listen to do before I go to see my mom today, which is at 2-ish. So, let's do this. We have reached book three, which is 76% through the audiobook. We have four hours and 50 minutes left, and it is 1.10. Let's do this thing. All right, I am home from my mom's house. We are at 82%. We have three hours and 38 minutes left. Will gets home in about an hour. Let's fucking do this. Let's just finish this book today. All right, so it's the next day. I didn't finish Nevernight yesterday, um, but I got really, really close. It is, the lighting's really weird in here because the lights aren't on because my air conditioning is out. So I'm trying to keep the lights off right now. All right, the AC guy just left, so I'm turning on the light for a minute. He says it's good. I'm waiting for it to cool down. So anyway, today I listened to the last little bit of Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, and I just want to say to everybody who didn't think I was going to read it, I read it. And I decided to give it three stars. It was interesting. I think I might continue on in the series. I'm not sure. If there's audiobooks, then yeah, probably. For the most part, I knew what was going on, and then there were some parts where I was like, I don't know what's happening, but then I got back on track and then I lost track again. It was a, it was a, a ride. That's what it really was. Um, so I gave it three stars. Really, spoilers for Nevernight, really, I just want to know if Trick is alive or not. I'm pretty sure he is, but I just want to know if Trick is alive. That's it. So I finished the first of the three books in this TBR. I, you guys don't know what the other two books are yet. I'm telling you guys as I start them. But what is going to happen is I'm actually going to read a contemporary book now um, in between books because my brain just needs a palate cleanse from the high fantasy before I continue on. So I will see you guys maybe in a couple of days with the next book. All right, so it has been a few days since I last talked to you guys when I finished Nevernight, and it's time to tell you guys what I'm reading next. As you guys know, I'm reading high fantasy, epic fantasy, fantasy, which I don't read much of but I have three that I'm reading for this video for the secret TBR and so far you guys know Nevernight that's what I've read so the second one is by a popular author I have read from this author before this is a book I own it's a duology I own both of them but we're only gonna be reading the first one for the sake of this video um have you guys guessed it yet uh, I'm going to be reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo so from my understanding 
this is in the Grisha world, so I have read the main three Grisha books. I actually have started this book before, but I really wasn't in a good mindset to read it, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting over. I originally got 35 pages into this book, so we're going to restart. Hopefully I like it. I have both of them, so hopefully I like this. I liked um, the original trilogy, so fingers crossed. All right, so today is Saturday, August 15th. It's been two days since I talked to you all and started Six of Crows. And we're gonna talk about Six of Crows in a second, but I wanna, I wanna bring in some life things into this vlog. So on Monday, I'm starting a new job and this new job has way different hours than I've done in the past couple of years. Normally my hours are I go in early like six or seven and I leave early around two or three. Well now this job is gonna be having me from 9.15 to 6.15. Now Will and I will be coming home around the same time and normally when Will gets home dinner is ready but that's different now. So I'm trying to do some meal prep um, for this upcoming week and guys, I just need to show you how fucking on top of my life I slightly feel like. So these are all my freezer meals that I made. I, there's only three and two of them are the same but I have two uh, tuna casseroles, which if y'all have never had tuna noodle casserole, it is so damn delicious. Like, I don't know where it's been all my life. So we're having tuna casserole on Tuesday. So I have one here and then I have an extra one for like the week or the second week after. And then this is peppers and onions in taco seasoning, which is what we put in our tacos. And this is what we're having on Wednesday. You're probably like, Chloe, what are you having on Monday? I, Monday, we're having a frozen pizza because I just, I want to kind of get a hold of what the schedule is going to be like that day and we'll just have frozen pizza that night but I've got Tuesday's meal and Wednesday's meals basically done and it's freaking Saturday and they're all gonna go in the freezer and then on the day they can just defrost this is our menu for the upcoming week shout out to Desiree from Livery Labra for getting this as a housewarming gift for me I'm obsessed with it so done 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 Meatballs, I don't really need to do anything with them. I don't eat meat. I just use Beyond Meat for them. I don't know what I'm doing for Will yet. Hot dogs and fries. Uh, Will is off this day, so he does the fries, and hot dogs are 30 seconds in the microwave. And then Saturday, we don't know yet, and Sunday is a stir-fried noodle bowl. Both these days I'm off, so it really doesn't matter for prep. But guys, I have dinner meals through freaking Wednesday done. So let me talk to you guys about Six of Crows real quick. Um, I... The day that I said I was starting it, I did start it. I read 14 pages. Um, yesterday, I didn't read it all. Today, so far, I've made it to page 69, which is the start of chapter 5. Um, and I wanted to read 100 pages today, so that'll put me right at the start of chapter 8. And now I... Th okay. Before, I'd only read 35 pages, like, however... Like, whenever I picked it up for the first time. Now that I'm farther in and I'm more focused on it, I'm starting to get the story, I'm starting to enjoy it some more. Um, I have heard a lot of things about the ending of this book and how like it, like it people couldn't believe it ended like that, so I'm bracing myself for that, but I also do have the second book, so I could read that when I'm done doing the secret TBR. I have not updated you guys in a couple of days just because I did start my new job and I am about to leave for work. So I wanted to talk to you guys really quick. Um, I've gotten pretty far in Six of Crows. I'm on page 203, I think. And I'm definitely starting to get more into the story and enjoy it. And hopefully I can finish it this weekend. I really need to sit down and focus and read it though, because I just, when I get home from work, I eat dinner, I do what I need to do, and I just go straight to bed because I'm so tired. I don't get home until close to seven o'clock. So, um, but I do get some reading done at work during my breaks. So that's basically how I've been getting most of my reading done. So I know I didn't update a lot during this second read, but guys, I just finished Six of Crows and wow, I am blown away by this book. Uh, I'm giving it four stars. I definitely liked it a lot more than Nevernight, I think. Um, and I, I definitely, it took me maybe like 50 pages, but I got into the story and I feel like Kaz is just like a secret cinnamon roll. Like, like... He's all dark and brooding and tough on the outside, but he's he's a cinnamon roll. I totally believe that. I totally get what people are saying about the ending. Like, it's not as... it. 
it's cliffhanger, but not like cliffhanger like I was expecting it to be. But I'm so glad that I have the second one. I have Crooked Kingdom and just, wow. Okay, so it's time for you guys to know the final book that I am reading in this secret TBR. I have one more book. This is the longest book out of all of them. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I don't want it to take a long time because I really want to put this video out, but I don't know how long it's gonna take. So the final book that I am reading for high fantasy secret TBR books is Crescent City House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. I don't know why I'm excited to read this book, but I'm excited to read it. But my problem with this book, I haven't even started it and I already have a problem. The problem is that it's Sarah J Maas and it's Bible thin pages. And this book is 799 pages. That is almost 400 more than what Six of Crows was. So this is what we're doing and I'm ready for it. I am ready. I am in this fantasy journey and I'm ready. I'm not going to finish it before the end of August. It's August 23rd right now. I'm not going to finish it in a week. But maybe. How many pages would I have to read every day to finish in a week? Let's start this journey. Alright guys, it has been a couple of days. I've gotten really, really bad at adding to this vlog. Um, but I have been reading House of Earth and Blood. Guys, first of all, just holding this book, it's really heavy. But this book is just so dense. Like... I already, I already knew it was 800 pages, and I knew those pages were Bible thin. But oh my lord. I've been reading this book for three days, four days. What day is it? Today's Thursday? I've been reading this book for four days now, and I just now hit page 200. That's how far I am, which is pretty far for me, but that's just, that's just page 200. We still have 600 more pages to go. Today's goal is going to be to try and get to page 300. I don't know if I'm sitting at the circulation desk at work today then I am able to read because we don't have any customers um, and we're just waiting for appointments but it's, it's hard. My original plan was to read 100 pages a day. I failed on day one so We'll see. I'm not getting this book done by the end of August, but I know that as soon as I get this book done, I'm going to edit this vlog and upload it because I'm really, really excited for this video. Okay, so I know I haven't been vlogging this book as much, but for House of Blood and Earth, a lot of the reading has been done at work, which sounds weird. Basically, I don't think I told you guys, but my new job is um, at a library, so I work for the county and I work specifically at a library. Um, so all we're doing right now is we're taking appointments to pick up holds and to print stuff. Nobody's coming in except for the staff. Like, that's it. We have nothing to do while we're waiting for people to come pick up their holds. So I sit at a computer at a circulation desk and I read my book. So this is basically what sits in front of me. It's easier to read it on the computer than it is to read a physical copy bent over the desk. Um, but this is what I stare at most of the time when I'm not helping somebody get their holds. And I'm actually a very good portion of the way through. So in the physical book, I'm on page 509 of 799. So we still have a little bit to go. Um, today's goal is to get to page 600 at least, or if I can read even more, read even more. Um, I'm actually, I think I'm enjoying this book. There is, this is kind of like, um, the mortal instruments in the sense of like urban fantasy, but everybody knows that there's like mythical creatures and stuff as well as humans. It's, it's kind of confusing to explain, but it almost reads like a contemporary in the beginning, almost. Just, um, there's just like, wolves and fae and it's Sarah J Maas so of course there's gonna be fae. It does read different from Sarah J Maas. Now technically this is her adult fantasy but let's get real. The second half of Throne of Glass and all of A Court of Mist and Fury is not really YA when you think about it. Once I like got into it 
I did start to enjoy it. I am enjoying it. But the problem is it's just really, really long. So there are some parts that are boring that I'm skimming. But it's just so damn long. So anyway, I'm starting on chapter 55 today on Sunday. I want to be at least at chapter 66 by the end of the day, if not farther. So it is 8.30, so let's do this. So I'm at the climactic moment, or I'm in the middle of the climactic moment of uh, House of Earth, Earth and Blood, um, but I'm going to finish it today. I'm really excited, and then I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Well, I'll talk about House of Earth and Blood, and then I'll wrap up the vlog, but this has been a long book. I've been reading it for over a week now, probably like nine days, but I'm ready to finish it today. I'm ready. But honestly, I feel like this might be like almost a four star read for me. I'm very surprised. I just walked through the door. But while I was at work today, I finished House of Blood and Earth. And guys, I'm just amazed, kind of. This book is long, like ridiculously long. But I ended up giving it three and a half stars, which doesn't sound good, but in my book, that's good, I think. I had no idea what I was going to think about this book. I knew it was really, really long, and I wasn't looking forward to 800 pages, but I I enjoyed it, and I definitely am going to pick up the rest of the series, and I'm also motivated to finish Throne of Glass, the Throne of Glass series, which this is completely different from Throne of Glass in my opinion, but I liked it. And there was like a mystery subplot to it and I don't like mystery but I still liked it. And I'm just, I'm amazed at this, like amazed. And it took me, let's see, I, it took me like nine days to read it, but I did it. I got it done without an audiobook. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. And that was the final book for this secret TBR. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go change because I just got off of work and I'm hungry. And then we're gonna wrap up this vlog. I'm just, I, I did it. All right, so it's been a day since I finished House of Blood and Earth. So we're just gonna really quick wrap up the things that I read in this vlog. Um, I think that this vlog was very successful and I'm very happy that I was able to find some new things. So first I read Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I had to return my copy to the library. This is the first thing I read. I listened to the audiobook. I gave it three stars. For the most part I understood what was going on, but I think it was whether I enjoyed it or not. And in the end I think it was just okay. That being said, I am going to continue on in the series and I do already have um, the second book, God's Grave ready for me to start. The second book I read was Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo and I have to say that I am honestly very surprised with this book. Once I got about 50 to 60 pages into this book I really started to understand it and enjoy it more and I'm really excited to pick up Crooked Kingdom. I gave this one four stars and I'm just shocked that I fell in love with this book as much as I did. And I think the biggest surprise out of all three of these books was House of Blood and Earth by Sarah J Maas. This is her adult fantasy and honestly I'm surprised at how quickly I went through this book for a Sarah J Maas for an 800 page one by her. I didn't know what to expect when going into this book and I think I came out pleasantly surprised and I ended up rating it three and a half stars. Um, because I didn't really think it was a full four for me, but it definitely wasn't just okay. It had some pretty great moments. I wish it was shorter, and there were some parts that I skimmed, but I would, but, but overall I'm going to continue on with this series, and I honestly feel motivated to keep reading the Throne of Glass series now. So guys, that was my secret TBR experiment where I read three high fantasy books where I normally don't read much fantasy at all. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really glad with the outcome of it, and I'm hoping to be able to do more secret TBR videos in the future. So down below in the comments, let me know what kind of secret TBRs you guys are interested in seeing. So guys, that's all I have for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. In the darkness, I don't feel so cold. The answers fall like rain. And somehow we're okay. A story drifts between shadows and smoke.